uh, check it out. We are in the kitchen and we are testing our lung capacity. Mavs has made a contraption here that uh, enables us to sort of get an idea of our lung volume. Can you explain the idea? Yeah, it's a five liter bottle filled with water and uh, markings all the way uh, with 250 milliliters in between. And we flip it over, it's full of water. Open the top. We put it into a, a bucket with water in it. Mm -hmm. Then at the bottom there, he opens up the, the cap. The cap is now off. I want to show the details here. There's the cap off. The water stays inside, obviously. Then, what do you do? We have a tube which we will put inside. He's now putting a tube inside without getting it out of the water. It's in? Mm -hmm. So now the idea is, can you explain the idea? Yeah, the point is just that you displace all the water with uh, your lungs, with the air. And so however much uh, the air is in the bottle when uh, I've done blowing up all my air, um, that'll be, that will be my lung capacity. Yeah. Um, it's a pretty cool experiment. The, the only problem is that the bottle is only five liters and we both both seem to go a little further than that our lung capacity is a little greater than five liters so we should have had like a seven liter bottle to be able to really measure it accurately um but uh we're doing it anyway and we're trying to estimate how much our lung capacity is so let's see if i can put this camera somewhere all right so what's gonna happen now is uh, matt is gonna inhale as much as he is capable of and then five liters of water straight into the lungs yeah uh, and, and then he's gonna exhale um uh, into the tube which will as matt's explained fill the bottle with air and displace the water but we're, we're actually going to go beyond the capacity of the bubbles so we'll have to do some estimation but okay so try to see all the bubbles that come out and make sure try to estimate how much that is yeah just do it slowly yeah and remember to push down at the end mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Mm -hmm. Um I I think you you you're you're just above 5 liters basically. Yeah. That's how it looks. Mm -hmm. All right, so we refilled uh the bottle and uh did everything and we're going to I'm going to do another test here. So obviously as we just saw with Mads, it doesn't really tell us exactly our lung capacity, which is pretty annoying. Yeah. We need a bigger bottle to do that, but at least we know it's greater than 5 liters, but I haven't actually looked up what's the typical average uh, lung capacity. Here's a quick little uh, snippet from uh, an old book by Jack Daniels and some other people. So, if a person were to breathe in as deeply as possible and then measure the amount of air that could be forcibly exhaled, the volume measured would be that individual's vital capacity. That's what it's called. It could be considered the greatest tidal volume possible. It varies a great deal with body size, sex and age, and it could range from about three liters in a small person to over six liters in a larger individual. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So if that's the case, I guess having a larger than five liter vital capacity is pretty good. Yeah, at least not bad for our size yeah. and yours. Uh, yeah. the, the water is extremely cold. Ah. Okay. Okay, so we calculated it's actually... Uh, all the water in this bottle is actually 5,000... Well, 
five liters and four hundred milliliters. Yeah, five point four liters. And we both got all that out, and you got maybe, if I were to estimate, as much as two hundred milliliters more than that. Yeah. So basically, we both have a very large lung volume. I don't know. Yeah. No. Definitely. Well, I mean, we would have to see averages across. A lot. Not if six liters is a large individual. Then. Yeah, but that's one source. Yeah, but I, I think that's pretty tr uh, true though. Still, uh, just bear in mind though that as a runner uh, having a large lung volume, it's not necessarily important. Lung volume is not a limiting factor usually when it comes to endurance performance. It's not unless you have a very small lung volume. You typically just ventilate more. You just breathe more if you have a slightly smaller lung. So it's typically not a limiting factor, but it is nice to know that I have pretty large lungs. Anything else? No. This is Mads' laboratory, by the way. <laughs> Check it out. He, he he has a lab here in the kitchen <laughs> uh, where he does uh, different experiments. Yeah, I mean, he's weird. He is indeed weird in the cool way. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.